All right. <clears throat> so here I am tonight. Uh, what is it? May seventh. Five and a half weeks out. 177 pounds. Attempting some heavy squats, relatively heavy. Uh, I got some knee wraps on, and I'm gonna try 370 for three. But I embarrassingly fail on the second rep. So I way overshot today. Last week I hit 365 for three, no worries, felt pretty good. This week, not happening. I uh, I squatted on Sunday, which was 48 hours ago. Sets of 12 and then straight leg deadlift, so my legs were still pretty sore today. And I could also make up a bunch of other excuses, but pretty much I didn't get it. First set, or first rep, pretty easy. Second rep, uh, straight grinder and needed a little assistance. So while I was going for three, stopped at two, sadly. Um, my next set was supposed to be 97%, which I think was 360. I dropped down to 355 since I missed this. Supposed to get it again for three. Uh, it didn't feel too heavy, but as you'll be able to see on the third rep, for some reason, I, I don't know if it was mental or I think it was mental. I think I was just scared and kind of uh, kind of mentally fucked from the first set. But I, I shift to the right like crazy. All the all my weight on my right foot. I've never done that before squatting. Uh, and it felt like I got lucky. I didn't get hurt. Honestly, uh, it's kind of hard to tell from the side angle here, but just trust me, it was a little scary. You kind of see all all 16 weeks of dieting go down the drain on one stupid rep, messing up and uh, hurting yourself. So. I am lucky that didn't happen. One was easy. This 355. Two a little tougher. Three again. I think the second rep got in my head. I was out of it. My legs hurt, and I shifted the right like crazy. So that was uh, a bad feel. Next, I have sumo uh, rack pulls. I haven't been sumo deadlift, deadlifting very long. I hurt my back last summer at conventional uh, pulling, and I've been out. Uh, same thing with squats. I haven't squatted or deadlifted in like eight months. Started at the beginning of prep, um, and my squats are back up, almost PRing to where I was at 205 pounds in the off season. The most I squatted was 385 for three reps, and uh, like you just saw, I missed this, but last week I hit 365 for three easily. <coughs> So here we go, sumo deadlifts from the rack, really focusing on keeping my back straight. I have a problem with conventional, uh, really lets my chest, uh, like, lets my back just round and bow over real bad, so working on keeping my uh, chest up and straight. This is 405 for 5, uh, not an impressive weight at all, I know, but again, it's mostly for safety. Want to make sure I'm doing it right. I haven't been doing this very long. Haven't even been deadlifting since my injury very long. So, want to make sure I don't mess anything up. Um, and I think that's why we're doing rack pulls instead of full regular deadlifts from the floor. And uh, to try and keep my, you know, my injury uh, chances to a minimum. Sorry, I got allergies too. If I sound very stuffy, it's because I am. So I uh, dropped down to 385 from 405 for another set of 5. Felt pretty good. I did a couple more sets after this video. Didn't feel like filming it again. But back staying straight, which is a good thing for me. It's really what I'm focusing on. I could really, I mean, honestly, I could yank that thing off of the bars, but um, really focusing on sitting back, keeping my hips down and form, really working on form. Not being able to deadlift for 8 months will make you very cautious. Uh, here we have standing overhead press for a set of 15. These got worked into my lower body days, I think because I only have pretty much one upper body day every like five days. Uh, my volume's been cut back tremendously since we've gotten into the uh, six weeks and under mark. Trying to not uh, lose too much muscle. So, this set of 15 with 105 dropped down, or I kept the same weight and did as many sets until I couldn't do uh, 10 reps. I think I ended up getting three sets after this one. Uh, I, I really like standing overhead press over any other shoulder exercise, honestly. I haven't been doing these long either. Started them after uh, pretty much when prep started, so 
they're not very impressive either. Uh, here we go with some Bulgarian split squats. If you've never done them, I would recommend trying them for sure. I don't enjoy them too much. Kind of feel kind of gay doing them. Uh, but do they they hit my my freaking glutes so good? It's crazy. I really I need to work on my form on these two. This is only my second time doing these. My back. My bag, I knew my back was bending over. I just didn't care at this point. After deadlifting and squatting uh, and being on a caloric deficit, I was pretty much pretty much fried. But don't use this as any kind of technique teaching video because this is pretty bad. So you really want to sit back more and not let your knee drive forward like mine is. But all that being said, it's still killing my glutes. I think I was supposed to do a set of 15, I think I only got 13, uh, and then I did another set of like 9, I was supposed to try to go until I couldn't hit 10, so I only got 2 sets of these, my legs were done. Finished up with some abs, uh, I did calves but didn't record them, big deal. Um, here I did 3 sets of these, 3 sets of 8, then I did 3 sets of 8 cable crunches, again I didn't film those either, I don't really focus too much on abs. Um, and you'll see in a minute, I got a little bit of leg posing afterwards. Just wanted to see what they look like uh, with a little pump going on. So they're less less defined, you might say. But they're definitely uh, holding the size, which you know, is, I guess, somewhat of the name of the game. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So I apologize in advance for the camera shaking. I was not paying attention to what I was doing up there. You'll see. Some hamstring action. Let's see. Everything looking good from the side. Uh, glutes are in from the side. Hamstrings looking pretty good, I think. Could definitely still lose a couple pounds in the, in the old butt area from the back. So that's what we're waiting for glutes to come in hopefully in the next couple of weeks I did uh, 400 calories of cardio after this and 100 calories of cardio before so uh, I was in the gym for a while and I should be uploading uh, an upper body workout end of this week beginning of next I'm gonna try to film some of my workouts during prep just as a fun little way to look back so thanks for watching